Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Rajkumar from India and in this problem we have three rectangles arranged in this particular fashion and these are the dimensions of the rectangles which I have already noted down and then a line is drawn from this point of the first rectangle to this point of the last rectangle and then two perpendiculars are drawn from this point and this point to the line let me call it A. B. If this line is AB, you are drawing perpendiculars from this point and this point to the line AB and we have to find the length of XY. Since all of them are rectangles, that means all these angles are 90 degrees, right? And these are the perpendiculars, so this angle is also 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. And what we have to do is we have to find the length of XY. So to find that, first we will find the length of AB. So how to find the length AB? Suppose if I extend this like this and then join this with this such that this is 90 degrees and let me call this point as C then this ABC is a right angle triangle and the length of AB can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. So since this is 90 degrees that means this length from here till here is again 3 and this total length is actually equal to 4 plus 6 that is 10. So length AC is equal to 10 and at the same time length CB is also equal to 10. So length of AB will actually be equal to square root of 10 square that is 100 plus 10 square that is 100 and this will be equal to 10 2. So this is the length AB and since this is 10 and this is also 10 that means this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle where this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is also equal to 45 degrees. So if this angle is 45 degrees this angle will be 45 degrees the second angle of the isosceles triangle and this tiny angle will also be 45 degrees at the same time this angle will be 45 degrees since this is a 45 degrees and this one is a right angle triangle that means this angle the third angle will also be 45 degrees and here again this angle will also be 45 degrees right so all these angles are 45 degrees that means all these tiny triangles in which I have marked the angle they will all be isosceles triangles right so this much length is 2 that means this length is also equal to 2 and the remaining length from here till here will also be 2 and if this is 2 this much length is 2 and since this total length is 3 this remaining length will be equal to 1 over here right and now if I talk about this right angle triangle which is an isosceles triangle since this is 2 and this is 2 the length of the hypotenuse over here will be 2 root 2 right and here also since this is 2 and this is 2 the length of this hypotenuse will again be 2 2 okay and here in this tiny triangle the hypotenuse is 2 that means if I use Pythagoras theorem and assume this length and this length as x then 2 times x square is equal to 2 square that is 4 or you can say x square is equal to 2 or you can say x is equal to root 2 that means the value of this length and this length is actually equal to root 2 right and similarly here in this right angle triangle since hypotenuse is 1 that means if I assume the length of each side of this isosceles right angle triangle as y that means 2 times y square will be equal to square of 1 that is 1 or y square is equal to 1 by 2 or you can say y is equal to 1 by root 2 so the length of this side will actually be 1 by root 2 and now the things become very easy to find the length of xy I just have to subtract all these lengths this length this length this length and this length from 10 root 2 which is the length of the total diagonal AB so xy will actually be equal to 10 root 2 minus 2 root 2 minus root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus 2 root 2 right or this can be written as 10 root 2 minus 2 3 4 5 root 2 minus 1 by root 2 so this is nothing but 5 root 2 
minus 1 by root 2 and if I simplify this root 2 will be the LCM and this will be root 2 multiplied by root 2 is 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 minus 1 or this is equal to 9 divided by root 2. So this will be the length of the line segment x, y. So either you can leave it like this or you just multiply both numerator and denominator by root 2 and this can be written as 9 root 2 divided by 2, right? So this is the solution for this problem. So thank you Rajkumar for sending this problem and if you also have any problem, you can send your problems to the number shown in the screen. So thanks for watching the video and for many more interesting videos, keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.